One of the sure shot way of not making money from cryptocurrency is by being late, by not taking action early and not keeping up with the trend. So there is a new blockchain which has just launched called Base and it is being supported by Coinbase and many big names of the world of DeFi and cryptocurrency. Now this is perhaps a great time for you to chime into this network and be an early participant. Their token is yet to be launched so if you interact with the protocol and if you're lucky to get the airdrop you might be able to make significant amount of money in the past people have made up to eighty thousand dollar just with the help of airdrop now whenever a new blockchain is launched not only you have an opportunity to participate in that blockchain and earn the airdrop of that particular blockchain in this case that that is the base blockchain but all the new protocol that is being launched on that particular blockchain if you participate there and if they do a fair airdrop based on the people participation you might have a great chance of earning this kind of airdrop now in this video i'm going to share a few things number one how you can add base blockchain to your metamask how you can bridge your ethereum to base blockchain and a few things that you can do with the base blockchain and as we move ahead in our this series i'll give you more tips and tricks about using base blockchain and get a chance to be eligible for airdrop now do understand that like there is no certainty in this but the thing is what i like about base blockchain right now is that it is built on the optimism tech stack so they're not building it from the scratch they are being promoted heavily by some of the top vcs company influencers and of course the coinbase which is a go-to platform a nasdaq listed company so i think the odds are in favor of base at this moment and in this video you will be learning everything which i have gathered so far about base platform and keep watching All right, so the very first thing you would want to do is to add base blockchain to your metamask right and to do this you have two different options first option is you go to this the official base docs and there you will find the way to add the network manually you can just simply follow this guide and you can use it or what you can do is you can go to this platform called chainlist.org i've talked about this earlier here simply connect your wallet by clicking on connect wallet and then search for base so here is the base just click on add to metamask and and that's it now click on approve and you can switch network but i i don't want to switch network right now because i want to bridge ethereum from ethereum wallet to base wallet so we'll do that so now i'll not switch the network click on cancel but just to show you like you know you when you open metamask at the top left you get this option to switch between different networks so in this case we just added base network so we can just simply go to base network and and we can uh, switch to base network which has no balance and then we'll go back to ethereum network right now you can actually use this platform called chainlist.org on your mobile metamask app if you're using Met, uh, mobile app and not the desktop app and you can add any network by following the same method even on mobile so once that is done moving ahead now the first thing you want to do is you want to move migrate some ethereum from your ethereum mainnet to base blockchain so to do that we'll be using the official base bridge now here is how it works so once you're here you can always click on connect wallet and it, you can select the wallet that you're using now coinbase wallet will be always recommended because it is the official wallet of coinbase and they are recommending this wallet of course it's a promotion so depending on which wallet you use you can use coinbase wallet i prefer using metamask and the best and the most secure way is to use metamask with your ledger wallet or any other hardware wallet but anyways let's use the metamask and click on next and connect so let's accept this and now here we can decide how much we want to move so let's move about you know 0 0.8 which is quite a lot now one thing which you need to know that when you're moving from ethereum to base wallet it is quite instant like probably in a minute or two you will have your uh, transferred asset on the base wallet 
But when you withdraw from base to Ethereum using the official bridge, you need to know this that transferring from base to Ethereum takes approximately seven days. So you might not wanna use the official bridge, but you can use the unofficial third party bridge, which I'll talk about that in a moment. But first thing first, let's move some of the Ethereum. So click on deposit ETH and confirm the transaction. There is a fear associated with this and this might take about a minute or two so meanwhile this is happening let's quickly go and talk about the third party bridges so there are many third party bridges and if i go here okay and select the bridge so this is the official ecosystem of base.org and i'll leave the link in the description so that you can browse and learn at your own pace so there are many like Sailor Network is a very popular bridge hop protocol is a very popular bridge stargate finance is a very popular bridge and similarly synapse is one of the bridge so you can use any of these bridges and you know you can move your token from base network to ethereum network and here the holdup is not seven days but you can move it instantly so just keep that in mind and use either of them i know seller network is good use it hop protocol is nice and stargate finance is quite popular they also have a token called stg by the way and that's not a recommendation to buy but just to let you know you can do some more research and if you like something you know you can always share with consutra community on discord now let's see the status of our transfer okay so well now it took few minutes and we have the amount in our metamask base wallet now the question is what do you do with this so the base team is celebrating something called on-chain summer where they are partnering with a lot of companies and launching a lot of cool stuff like few of them is like nfts like this so this is base day one nft and what we can do is we can connect it with our wallet okay and let's select metamask select the right wallet if you have multiple wallet click on next click on connect and now you can see the mint price is 0.008 ETH. Now I don't know if this is going to be worth anything or not. It might cost like three to four dollar right now to mint, but you never know. You know, like in crypto, anything can happen. So since it might, I assume it might be limited one. I can just simply mint this, and oh wow, you can actually mint many of them. But just for the sake of it, let's mint only one of it, and yeah uh, okay let's give it the confirmation and okay the fee is about two dollar which is quite a lot and that is a problem building on the optimism tech stack the transaction fee is not as cheap as we want it to be for a layer two solution so it will be interesting to see how base really do in the longer run uh, because the problem is like if your transaction fee is still high and it is as high as what optimism is offering what is the incentive to use base or maybe it will just move all the users from something like optimism and arbitrum to base which may or may not be happening which i'll show you in the moment but anyway so this is the first thing you can do then there is on chain summer page right like on chain summer.xyz right let me just refresh the page and right now i can mint this one which is about 18 dollar now the question is does it worth anything may or may not be but the problem is what we are looking for is the airdrop of the base token and i definitely want to capitalize on whatever is available so maybe let's just mint this now again none of this is investment advice and this might end up earning you nothing so if you are doing this you have to be a little smart and be aware that what you are doing okay and this is definitely a risk so anyways this is all done nft is minted and there is one more new era btc new era eth okay i hope i don't end up regretting this uh, the gas fee is about 0 0.69 the total the i'm paying about 18 dollar for this but hopefully hopefully with the airdrop we kind of get our money back or maybe in future they might be worth something and we can trade them and then there's like communities building a lot of things so you can explore them there's base friend uh, this one costs 0 0.01 this is free base friend let's mean this also okay and this does not cost anything so they will be will be paying about 37 cent gas fee so the idea is to interact with the protocol to the blockchain 
so that if they have an airdrop and usually now people when they do an airdrop they are being very smart they don't want to airdrop just because you connected your wallet to their blockchain they want you to participate in the form of bridging the token minting an nft or probably using the defi or lending or whatever the protocol they have now that gets very tricky but there is a very interesting thing i want to tell you like there are telegram bots which will automate the entire process and i've tested one or two such telegram bots and i i think i used the zk sync blockchain and telegram bot to use some of the d app on that protocol and what you need to do is you transfer the funds it will automatically do all use this d app to have your uh, transaction footprint on it now this i found very interesting so if i find something for base i will share that with you in one of the upcoming videos you can subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated anyway so this is done now similarly you can come back every day and and you can see like there are a lot of upcoming launches now coca-cola launch is happening which is going to be very interesting then there is zora then there is what else i like there is optimism there is rainbow rainbow is a very popular wallet i talked about it's a mobile wallet that you can use open c of course we know so yeah there are going to be many launches and something you might want to pay attention you might want to come to this page every now and then and it would be interesting if they could actually put a timer which they have so now you know like after 11 hour 26 minutes you can come back for the next launch so that is one um now what else we can do right uh okay let's see if we, this page works unfortunately this page is not working but i'll leave the link in the description for you to explore now this base ecosystem is where you can find a lot of protocol that have integrated with base blockchain and it's not necessary that all of them are new and exclusive for base but like for example sailor or hop protocol they work on all the blockchain similarly if you go to DeFi, there is awe there is uh, uniswap there is there is also one of my favorite beefy finance for the yield optimization so they have signaled or they have already integrated with base platform base blockchain which is going to be very interesting so the adoption is huge but the question is how do you find new protocol that are being developed on base and for that we will go to our favorite defi llama right now on defi llama if you go to defi llama.com chain base i'll leave the link in the description you can find all the protocol based on ranking like you know what is the tvl logged the change in the tvl value on one month seven day one day now in this case since it's a new blockchain we are seeing seven day change and then you can find like which all protocol are using base blockchain and how how's the growth on them now this is how you will often discover a new protocol and i usually pay attention to this now the thing is like often if a new protocol which is built exclusive for base blockchain they might end up capturing a lot of tvl initially and perhaps a great time to make money from this new protocol but you have to be very mindful very fast this can't be one of those like buy and forget kind of investment this is what i've seen with most of the protocols so yeah that's how you navigate this base blockchain and as we move ahead i'll share more tips and tricks and my learning into this blockchain now one thing before we end up i have to tell you like none of this is an investment advice this is all pure research and education what you do and how you navigate this protocol is all up to you so do your own research be mindful when you when you take any action on cryptocurrency or decentralized world because it's easy to take action but it's very hard to undo the action so with that i will see you in the next video keep liking and subscribing to our channel see you bye bye